All right, this is fifth grade, module six, lesson three. And in this lesson, students are going to be naming points on that coordinate grid. Uh, they're going to be using those ordered pairs, the coordinate pairs. And they're going to be also plotting points. So they're going to be giving points, given points, and they have to plot them. They're going to see some plotted points, and they have to identify the ordered pairs. So let's get started on this. So the first thing that's kind of cool is they don't just give us the coordinate grid. Uh, it's They give us this thing, and it's just a general grid because they don't have the axes, the X and the Y axes in here yet. So we have to follow the directions in order to create our axes. So uh, let's zoom in a little bit here. It says use the grid to construct the y-axis that goes through y and z. So right here is our y-axis. So I'm going to get, oh, let's do it in uh, black. And right here, they're saying this line right here between y and z is our y-axis. <clears throat> and then similarly, construct a perpendicular x-axis, so perpendicular means it's got to form that perfect 90 degree angle, that passes through z and x. So here, down here, is our x-axis, and it's going to go down here like this. So there's our x-axis, so I've just done step A and B. Label the origin as uh, O, the letter O, or zero, I guess, and that's right here. So it happens to cone uh, co coinspond, coexist, <laughs> coins, coincide, coincide <laughs> with z. So z and the origin are the same thing. And now we're being told that the y coordinate of w is two and three fifths. So now we have to use logic to figure out where is one, where is two, where is three, where is four, etc. So we know that two and three fifths is the same value, so I'm going to write this way over here, that 2 and 3 fifths, well, that's the same thing as 13 fifths. 13 fifths. So if I count, starting at the origin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, um, that's the 13 fifths, so, which is also 2 and 3 fifths. So that tells us, each of these little intervals is a fifth. So that means if I zoom in, whoa, and every five equals one whole. So starting here, one, two, three, four, five, right there counts as one whole. So right there, that's one whole. And then we're going to continue, and we're going to say, okay, one, two, three, four, five. So right here is another hole, and then sure enough, one, two, three, there's the two and three fifths, four, five. So right there is another hole, and so that is our intervals for the y-axis. And then lastly, it says the x-coordinate of v is two and two-fifths, so that's twelve-fifths. And if we count down here, let's count, and we, we're going to see, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, sure enough. So each fifth down here is also one whole. So that means a fifth goes right there. A fifth goes right there. A fifth goes right there. So we have just officially created our axis, our coordinate grid that we're going to use for the following problems. So here we're being asked to give the coordinate pair. Sometimes they call it or the ordered pair uh, for each of the following points. So T, U, S, and K. I'm not going to write them up here. I'm going to write them down here in our coordinate grid. So T is right here. So the first thing we need to do for our T is we need to identify the x-coordinate of t. So I'm going to go straight down here 
and I can see that it's between 2 and 3 on the x axis, and it is at 2 and 2 thirds, um, 2 and 3 fifths, because it's 1, 2, 3 out of 5. So it's 2 and 3 fifths. So I'm going to zoom in and record the x coordinate as 2 and 3 fifths. And now I need to figure out, well, what about the y coordinate of t? And the y coordinate of t is right, uh, here's t, so I'm going to go over here, and it's just 1 fifth below 3, so that's 2 and 4 fifths. So the y coordinate of t is 2 and 4 fifths. And that is your value, your, your ordered pair or your coordinate pair for t. All right, so this is what t is, where t is located. Oh, let's do just one more. Uh, let's see, let's do k. Where's k? I'm looking for k. Oh, there's k. k is way up there. So if we want the coordinate pair of k, first thing we need to do, well, I guess it doesn't have to specifically go in a particular order of how we find it, but f we're going to find the uh, x-coordinate first, then we're going to find the y-coordinate of k. So here's k, and if we go straight down, there is our x-coordinate, which is 1 and 1 fifth. And then if we want the y-coordinate of k, oh, it's just a little bit above 3. It's 3 and 2 fifths. So k is now located, we officially know, it's located at 1 and a fifth, comma, 3 and 2 fifths. And that's where k is located. So you get the idea of how to plot the, or how to give the coordinate pair of these points. So now we've got these points, and we have to figure out what letter is each of those, of these uh, points. And so, let's figure out what letter is located at 3 fifths, comma, 3 fifths. So I'm going to go down here, and I can see, and I'm going to zoom in, I can see that 3 fifths on the x-axis is right here, and 3 fifths on the y-axis is right here, and those points come crash, those, uh, those coordinates come crashing right at U. So U is located at 3 fifths, 3 fifths. And I'm going to zoom out, and let's take a look at, oh, let's do, um, oh, this one. This one's kind of tricky because it's got a zero. Anytime zero is involved in a coordinate pair, it's going to be a little on the tricky side. So let's do zero and 2 and 3 fifths. So what does that zero mean? Well, that zero means it is going to be located on the x-coordinate as uh, on the x-axis as 0. So the x-coordinate is 0, and we can see that the y-coordinate is 2 and 3 fifths. That puts us right at w. So our w is located at 0, comma, 2 and 3 fifths. And that is the idea of how to take these points and recognize where they are on our grid. And then finally, you can see our, our grid's starting to get a little crowded, but we've got some more up here, and now we're being asked to plot these following points. So let's take a look at A. A is at 1 and a fifth, comma, 1. So 1 and a fifth is our x-coordinate, and 1 is our y-coordinate. So 1 and a fifth is our x-coordinate, so that's going to be right here, and 1 is our y-coordinate, and when we come crashing, they crash right there, right there, and there. And that is what they want us to label A, and specifically that is 1 and a fifth on the x-coordinate, and one 
on the y coordinate. So it's getting kind of crowded, our little grid here. Oh, let's do one last one. Let's do C. 2 and 4 fifths, comma, 2 and 2 fifths. All right, so that means it's going to be 2 and 4 fifths on the x coordinate. So that's going to be located right here. And I'm going to put a little dash so I don't lose my, tr uh, lose my place. And then it's 2 and 2 fifths on the y coordinate. So I'm going to put a little dash as well at the 2 and 2 fifths. And then this dash and this dash come crashing together. And they're going to come crashing together right there. Oh my goodness, it's getting a little on the crowded side. So that is 2 and 4 fifths, comma, 2 and 2 fifths. So it's 2 and 4 fifths on our x coordinate, and it's 2 and 2 fifths on our y coordinate. And of course, that's the letter C. And that wraps up fifth grade, module six, lesson three. We're naming points using those coordinate pairs.